The Bavarian town of Pell is usually a sleepy place. But that's all changed since the start of the Football World Cup. Here at the town hall, reporters turn up daily. The mayor says all of them want to know more about Pale's most famous inhabitant. After Thomas had scored about three goals, media interest increased massively. He's a very interesting person because he's so natural and authentic. Here in the village, we've taken it all in our stride. Of course, we're pleased, but we're pretty relaxed about the whole thing. Residents are extremely proud of their Thomas. The local bakery has a special attraction in its window display, a pair of Müller's old football boots donated by his family. As a child, Müller often came here to buy sweets. He was a lively, cheeky boy and funny, just like he is now. He had a good sense of humor. But it was Müller's talent that really stood out. He learned to play football on this field and joined Bayern Munich's junior team at the age of just 10. Since then, he's come a long way. Here he's seen training with the national team in Brazil. The people of Pale say his phenomenal success is well deserved. He's got great instincts and he uses them. That's a rare quality. Most players are pushed into a routine, but Thomas doesn't allow that and that's a good thing. It's not just Müller's sporting prowess that makes him popular. The small town boy hasn't let his success go to his head. Though he's earned a fortune, people here say his feet remain firmly on the ground. He speaks and behaves just like us. He doesn't act like a Ronaldo or a Beckham. Round here, he's just one of the lads. The World Cup final against Argentina will be doubly exciting for the residents of Pale because of their personal connection with Müller. I say Thomas Müller is going to shoot two goals for Germany on Sunday, and I'm seldom wrong. <laughs> if Germany do become the World Cup champions, the quiet village of Pale in Upper Bavaria is likely to get a little louder for a while.